We often talk about living through history, and of course we do. Uh, every, every moment of our lives is it somehow takes its place uh, in the historical record. But what's been going on across the world over the last several months uh, really is extraordinary. Uh, and in our day-to-day -day lives, as we worry about taking care of uh, each other, feeding ourselves, feeding our pets, thinking about how we're going to get uh, the, the next chore done around the house, it's easy to forget that <clears throat> what has occurred across the world is an extraordinary phenomenon. Uh, essentially, uh, the greater part of the globe brought to a standstill by a health crisis. In that context, uh, there have been all kinds of acts of heroism and courage uh, shown. Uh, and in our own lives, it's important to pause and take stock of what it means simply to have concluded a course of study uh, in the context of a massive global disruption of this sort. Queen's students, you're at the end of the academic year. Uh, it has been extraordinarily challenging. I congratulate you for doing so well. I do want to remind you of the scale of this disruption uh, that you've been part of. And to say that if you've brought your year of study to a successful conclusion, if you've even brought your degree to a successful conclusion, that's an extraordinary achievement and you deserve the warmest congratulations for it. I wanna thank you also for being accommodating and flexible. The university had to do some extraordinary things uh, back in March, moving all of our courses onto a remote platform. Uh, and you all cooperated in different ways, but always admirably well. Uh, to ensure that we could continue the business of the university and see you all to the end of the academic year. So there's lots to be proud of in that, especially when we reflect upon the scale of the global challenge. But I recognize there have also been particularly difficult aspects of this. The most obvious for graduating students is that there will be no in-person convocation ceremonies this May and June, as there would normally be, providing you with an opportunity to enjoy and to celebrate with your friends, families, and peers. While we'll make sure that you will have that opportunity as soon as the public health restrictions are relaxed, uh, nevertheless, take pride in your achievement. You will receive your degree as you normally would at this time of year, so you can get, carry on to plan your lives and take on jobs and so on. Uh, be proud of all of that uh, and uh, rest assured that we will provide an opportunity in the future for the kind of convocation ceremony uh, that you will really enjoy. Just yesterday, the federal government made an extraordinary announcement in support of students across the country, over $9 billion worth of financial aid to students, uh, those leaving high school, those in university, um, all to ensure that young people can continue to study and to, to acquire the degrees that they, that they aim to acquire. This is all because the government recognizes that the future of the country is in your hands. Uh, and we share that goal uh, to support you in bringing your academic careers to the kind of conclusion uh, that you would want to see. It's in all of our interests that you should succeed. So I'll end this academic year saying thank you for all you've done, congratulations. Uh, for working so successfully to bring the academic year to a conclusion and to say we're deeply proud of you and share the government's view that you are the future of the country and will do outstandingly well. Look forward to what we do at Queen's in the fall. We will be aiming to do uh, everything we normally do, even if we have to do it on different platform and in different ways. Uh, it will be the great Queen's experience if you're a returning student and for students who are coming, they will find out why generations have found this institution uh, a great place uh, on which to build their careers and their adult lives. So thank you very much. Enjoy the summer and all of you do please keep well.